beautiful people of the internet how are you guys doing today hopefully great and welcome to top five great starter primaries in warframe of 2021 and beyond so full disclosure all the weapons that you guys are about to see are either mr10 or below and also if your favorite weapon isn't on this list it doesn't mean that you guys have bad taste it just means that hey i haven't gotten to that particular weapon yet because you know there's like a hundred plus different primary weapons in this game so yeah and finally this is a requested video by a subscriber their name is a cryptic shout out to you and thank you so much for your request so before i continue with the video let's talk about our merch store so as i said before we are selling caps hoodies t-shirts and a whole bunch of other stuff if you would like to support me or the channel further go and buy some merch and don't forget to tag me on my personal Instagram account at one man army yigit or at one man army yigit underscore merch and we'll definitely do some shout outs. Links are in the description. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road, shall we? Alright, so on our number one spot we have a weapon called the regular Vectors or the Vectors. This is a Mastery Rank 2 sniper and let me just say it hits like a truck. It's got a high critical chance, it's got a high reload speed only problem is, is that you have to be dead on accurate because it only has one single round in its magazine but the reload speed is relatively fast. If you guys are new to Eidolon hunting this is an okay choice when it comes to your weapon of choice if you guys are DPS on Eidolon hunting. If you guys want to know exactly how to do Eidolon hunting links will be down in the description and that particular video will be requested to you guys at the top right so go and take a look at it. On our number two spot, we have the Dex Sybaris or the or the regular Sybaris. Now, the Dex Sybaris is a Mastery Rank 7 weapon and the regular Sybaris is a Mastery Rank 5 weapon. Now, the only way that you guys can get the Dex Sybaris is if you go and do the Anniversary Alert in Warframe. This alert usually comes between March and April, so if you guys have missed it, your best bet is to wait until next year. However, if you guys would like a much healthier alternative, a regular Sybaris will definitely do the trick. Now, the regular Sybaris deals about 25% critical chance, where the Dex Sybaris deals about 35% critical chance. So all in all, if you guys don't have the Dex Sybaris, go and get yourself the regular Sybaris. The weapon hits hard, it's got high critical chance, and it's got an okay reload speed. Moving on to our number 3 spot, we have the normal Rubico. This is a Mastery Rank 6 weapon, it is a sniper. If you guys want the best possible weapon when it comes to DPS, early on in the game, go and get yourself the regular Rubico. Like I said, it's an MR6 weapon. The Rubico Prime is probably the best sniper when it comes to taking out Eidolon limbs because of its high damage output. Excuse me. Now, the Rubico or the regular Rubico has more magazines or more bullets in a single magazine. And I believe it has either a 25% crit or a 30% critical chance. The point is... It is better than the Vectors either because of its damage output or because of the how big its damage or its magazine size is. So go and get fantastic sniper rifle. On our number 4 spot we have the Corinth. Now the Corinth is a shotgun. It's a crit based shotgun. It's got about 25% critical chance with a secondary fire. Now the secondary fire is pretty okay. It's actually pretty fun to use. It's called the air burst. Now the way that the air burst works is basically if you see a group of enemies in front of you and you fire your air burst, the air burst has to first travel a certain amount of length until it explodes, dealing a lot of blast damage. However, the air burst does have a lot of fall damage, so among say level 15 to 20, you'll nuke them, but afterwards the air burst will start to struggle a little bit. So yeah. The, the current is a great secondary, or sorry, is a great primary weapon because of its reload animation. I really enjoy its reload animation, especially on Hera because it's kind of like a meme. Especially if you guys have like that reload buff on you. So yeah, current is also your pump action shotgun. I personally do not like crit based shotguns. I don't know why, I just don't enjoy them. I don't feel like they deal enough damage. They just don't feel very powerful in my opinion. So yeah, and finally... On our number 5 spot, we have the Amprex. Now the Amprex is more of your, how can I say this, it's more like your stun rifle or more like your beam based rifle, that's it, yeah it's a beam based rifle. Now the Amprex shoots pure electricity, so you know if you guys add toxin, you'll then be shooting pure corrosive that starts to arc. Now the beam rifles, 
eons ago they were reworked, now what happens is they start ramping up. Just like how regular electricity works, but now the Amprex has like a default of like I say between 30 to 50 percent critical chance, and it's also a mastery rank 10 weapon. It's a little bit too high when it comes to this particular bracket, but hey, it's still mastery 10, it's not 11. So the Amprex, if you add yourself a point strike based mod, or if you add point strike, what happens is your critical chance will be above 100%. In other words, it should be around 135% critical chance. If you guys do not know how crit works, basically, let me use the Amprex as an example. Let's say I put point strike on and I have 135% critical chance. What's going to happen is, that 35% means that I have a 35% chance to hit the enemy with an orange crit. So meaning that I'll always hit yellow crits, but then there'll be that odd chance that I'll have a, you know, orange crits. So yellow crits are guaranteed, orange crits are somewhat probable or somewhat there. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's video. If you guys have liked the video or it's generally helped you, remember to leave a like and don't forget to spot and kick the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. I'm gonna make like a banana and split.